yo! In this video, I'm going to show you how to play the lick that you just heard. So we're going to start with a C major arpeggio. Little finger on fret 15 on the high E, pull off to 12 on the high E. Then play 13 on the B with your second finger, and then 12 on the G with your first finger. It helps to bar your first finger across the top three strings on the 12th fret. But don't let the notes overlap each other in sound. Let ring. Because if you do that, you're not sweet picking. Next note is fret 14 on the D and then 15 on the A with your little finger. Then you're going to play fret 10 on the A string. So, so far I've got this. In terms of the picking pattern, you can either start with an upstroke or a downstroke, and I kind of vary this. Sometimes I start with an upstroke, sometimes I start with a downstroke, just depending on how my picking hand is feeling. Right, next thing we're gonna do is hammer on from fret 10 back to fret 15, and then work our way back up the arpeggio until we end on fret 12 high E. This is a C major arpeggio, by the way. So we've got the notes of a C major chord. G, E, C, G, E, C, G. Then we're going to play fret 15 on the high E string and slide up two frets to fret 17. Now notice how the fret 15 is actually a grace note here. It doesn't have a value in musical time. After that, we're simply going to play the same arpeggio that we played before, but with the notes of a D major chord. So that's the notes D, F sharp, and A. Let's put it together. Then we're going to play fret 17 on the high E string, and again, slide up two frets, and then play the same arpeggio, but this time with the notes of an E major chord. Once we've got back up to fret 16 on the high E, it does get a little trickier. You've got to hammer on to 19 with your third finger. Do a tap on fret 24, pull off back to um, 19, back on to 16. Then you're going to play 17B with your second finger uh, and 16G with your first finger. Again, it helps to bar your first finger across the top three strings here. Then you're going to work your way back up to fret 16 on the high E. Then you're going to hammer on with your little finger to fret 20 on the high E, not fret 19. And then kind of repeat the same uh, next part of the lick. So hammer on, sorry, tap to fret 24, pull off back to 20, pull off back to 16, work your way back to 16G and then back up again. So if I just put that together. And if I just put it all together up to there. Then we're going to slide down to fret 13 on the G. 14D with your second finger. 15A with your third finger. And then 16 low E with your little finger pull off to fret 12 on the low E where your first finger should be. So, And then finally end with a bend on fret 15B. So if I just put all of that together from the beginning. go. And then just a little faster. I'm just going to finish this video with a little playthrough uh, with some tabs scrolling across the bottom of the screen.
you enjoyed watching this video as much as I enjoyed making it. And if you did enjoy it, please do consider subscribing to the 60 Seconds of Shred YouTube channel if you haven't done so already. All right, cheers. See you again soon. See ya.